Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you 2021.5 Volkswagen Atlas SEL Premium. This particular one's pure white on the exterior and has Shetland beige and quartzite leather on the interior. It also features the 20 inch alloy wheels, nice bowl line down the side under the door handles from the wheel arches into the tail lights, that larger chrome uh, underneath the tail lights at the back, the Atlas name ba badge there as well. And then also the Volkswagen logo, the new Volkswagen logo. You have faux exhaust tips at the base there, but you do have a tow hitch standard. This is what it looks like here. And you're still gonna need a seven pin adapter to hook up to that and then you're ready to go. But you got hooks on each side. Oversized reflector there and also park sensors there for your park distance control. Chrome window sills, chrome surrounds around the windows, chrome roof rails. Uh, panoramic sunroof as well, easy kick open hatch, uh, keyless entry on four doors, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, travel assist, all of that stuff's going to be standard on this car. Let's take a look inside. Before we sit in the car, here's a look at that quartzite uh, stripe with the Shetland beige. This is a leather seat. This is a Vienna leather, so this is heated and ventilated. It's real leather. Uh, you feature three seat memory right here and also lumbar support forward and back and then seat back adjust right there as well. These are really, really comfortable seat. I own an Atlas. Absolutely love it. Cold dead fingers is how you're going to get it back from me. Manual adjust for the headrest right there. And as we look over to the door here, you've got premium stitching in the door. Uh, on the Shetland beige, it's all Shetland, even on the armrest and the door handle itself. The inset right here. And they've actually beefed up the wood grain look here on the... Uh, uh, door panel here looks more realistic here and it's a flat silver finish around it with fender audio logo right there Fender premium audio is also standard on the car uh, as an SEL premium as well as this power lift gate right here I can lift up on that And it opens the rear lift gate and I can also lift up on that and hold it And it also closes that same lift gate the key is lift up and hold until it's shut as you look around here, that flat silver finish continues from the door right here across into the dash and around the radio right here and it surrounds the wood grain and goes over to the vent there and then into the door. So there's a nice continuous flow to it there. Wood grain in the door over there as well. And as I said before, this is a much more realistic, less plasticky looking uh, wood grain. It's still plastic, it's still fake, but it looks nicer. That's the big thing here. It looks a lot nicer. They actually put something into it there uh, to make it look better. Fender Premium Audio again. Um, automatic headlights here with all weather lights. You have a coin box for storage right here. And as always on all Volkswagens, one touch up, one touch down on all four windows with the window lock button right here. And then you also have heated mirrors, uh, power mirrors, and power folding mirrors. So I can turn that back there. And the mirrors are going to fold in and then turn it back out and they open back up. It's an adjustable steering wheel. It's a manual adjust for the steering wheel though. Um, not a power, not, not a luxury thing like that. It's just a manual adjust there, but uh, it works just fine for me. Flat bottom steering wheel, leather wrapped steering wheel here with uh, premium white stitching right here at the base. Then you also have this flat silver finish right here as well on the three spokes with the new Volkswagen logo there. This is also a heated steering wheel, so the heated steering wheel button is right there. You do also have cruise control, adaptive cruise control, and travel assist too. So I can hit this button right here and that turns on my uh, cruise control and hit the plus or minus here and that's going to change the speed here or I can just drive to the speed and hit set down here at the bottom. Uh, travel assist, I can turn this on here too. Uh, travel assist is my lane assist, my lane guidance type things. It's only going to kick in at 40 miles an hour or faster. Uh, and a little horizon shows up right here and shows up green when that's locked on. And it gives me something called counter steer in a steering wheel where it's actually going to keep kick to keep me uh, corrected in the lane. Um, very nice setup there. You have volume control for the stereo right here as well. And then you do also have a song skip and preset skip over here. They keep the little tray here and storage space here. There's a, a speaker up here underneath that. Um, and then you do have more storage space down here. This is also wireless charging. So my phone is actually charging down there. Uh, even with that case on it, that Mophie case, it's still charging. 
Uh, this radio is an MIB-3 radio. It features navigation. So you have navigation right now showing a compass because I'm showing navigation over here behind uh, the steering wheel. And I have the widescreen. Uh, by hitting the view button here, I can change it. There's the crop screen. And then here is the dial screen. I just had a bug land on me. It's first bug of the year. All right. Um, so uh, the instrument cluster is customizable there. Fuel gauge is all the way over here. This car's on empty, so it's red. When it's really critical, that red light's gonna blink. And then you have your temperature gauge over here. This one's fresh off the truck. And I do have this one sold. So there you go. Um, I do have more coming. So if you're interested in those, let me know. Or if we need to order one for you, let me know. Um, features on this radio though, App Connect, Android Auto, uh, which is Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Miralink. Now they're wireless. Even though you have those two USB-C connections there, you don't have to connect, connect with a cord. You can do it wirelessly. Once you set up your Bluetooth, it's going to prompt you for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto um, for your technology. Very nice. You do also have a slick backup camera here. This thing has trajectory steering, so the yellow line moves accordingly. Um, and then the red line stays put. And then the green line uh, just signifies going straight back. Um, very nice that it does that. You do also have a 360 camera, so I've pushed that button there, and now I've got an overhead view, and I can touch the quadrants to change what's displayed, and I can also change what type of camera view or what what's going on here. So I can change to rear, I can change to left side, right side, or sorry, front or left side, or sorry, you get what I'm saying here. Um, and then also, I do also have Park Assist. Park Assist is going to show me... Uh, it's gonna actually detect where the cars are and actually park this car itself. Um, you control the gas, the gear, and the brake. That's important. Uh, a lot of dealerships, a lot of people are saying their dealer didn't show them anything on Park Assist or anything like that. I don't usually do that in person. It's kind of a risky thing. But if you're if you're interested in that on your car, I'll of course show it to you. Uh, most people are not. But uh, you can do perpendicular park, parallel park, and what have you there. The important thing is, you control the gas, the gear, and the brake. It does not control the braking and the accelerating. You have to do that. You do the shifting, it'll alert you. Um, it does the steering and only the steering. So um, if someone's told you otherwise, they're telling you incorrectly. Uh, you do have heated seats and ventilated seats right here. So, um, and they're three phase. So it's high, medium, and then off. Medium and then low and then off. Um, and then your vent settings are all right here. You do also have dual zone climate zone here up front with a third zone in the back there. Um, but you can actually adjust fan speed. You can also adjust temperature. Um, and then you can also bring this up on the screen by hitting the menu button. It brings it up here. You have front and rear settings here as well. And then you also have air care. And air care is going to do your air filtration. There's a little blue line that will expand here to show you that. Uh, as it's scrubbing the air, it's taking out any kind of pollutants and allergens in the air. And I turned the knob straight up. So you guys should be happy. Okay, over here in the glove box. No CD player. Just SD card holder right there. And then manuals. Whoops. Manuals are uh, right here. And then a tire warranty and what have you are all right here in this little uh, Ziploc bag here. Um, they got rid of that CD player. Um... And the SD card reader, but there's still a holder. I'm not sure why there's a holder. Excuse me, guys. Um, and then here's a look at that panel in the door again. Uh, that the Shetland beige with the stitching right there. Very nice setup there. Um, and these seats, again, are heated and ventilated, and they're super comfortable. The armrest is also going to be Shetland here. Um, it is leatherette, but it's got black carpet and black inside here, so you don't get scuffs or things of that nature. There's actually a drop-in safe that you can order uh, to store firearms and things like that in, uh, or a firearm, not plural, um, and then uh, valuables or whatever in there as well. Um, and you can also get drop-in trays for storage as well. Very nice setup here. Here's a look at that quartzite again. That stripe goes right behind the shoulders and around the other side and down. Uh, up above here panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade it is Shetland in color as well kind of follows the interior color there's a look up at it there and as I open the sunroof here it is a moonroof as well so it'll do the tilt function and also the power slide function very nice setup there pop-up windshade right there 
the cut down on the wind buffeting in the car. And then you do also have CarNet, free of charge for five years. Your information, roadside assistance, and emergency services buttons are all right there. Wow, that sun is really bright, so I'm going to close that. These windows are tinted. Uh, the sunroof is tinted, and the rear windows, all of the rear windows are tinted. The only windows that aren't tinted are the front windshield and the side windows here. Uh, this does have the home link mirror with auto dimming uh, and the uh, digital compass here and three-door garage door memory at the base there, so there's three buttons right there. Uh, you do have a vanity mirror on each side. They're LED, so they're a much cooler light. Uh, they're not as harsh as the incandescent bulbs. So very nice that you have that light up above there. And there's a look again at the giant panoramic sunroof. This one does have captain's chair, so let's take a look at that. This one, the way it's equipped, comes in at 51925 The extras are going to include the MDO package for $810. Bucks. Uh, and then also the captain's chair package for $6.95 and this one has Volkswagen puddle lights Let's see if they'll show up during the day the Volkswagen logo puddle lights uh, They do not it's it's right in here, but uh, it doesn't show up during the day Well, maybe if I turn the lights on let's see here let's See if it does it. Nope. It does not you can't see it during the daylight, but uh, it will light up with a VW logo on the ground very nice The front two doors have that the back two do not Here's a look at the captain's chair, a manual adjust headrest there, manual address, adjust arm, armrest right there, I'm tongue tied all of a sudden. Uh, here's a look at your climate control right here, black carpeting on the floor, so they understand that you're going to get dirt and things on the floor. I own an Atlas with Shetland with this black and I love it, uh, does hide dirt really well, does really well with that. Two USB-C connections right there and a three prong plug right there as well so you can charge a laptop or what have you right there. Um, but the USB-C connections are new. For 2021 and a half um, those two USB C's up there as well uh, here's a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof again uh, the black carpeting on the floor magazine pockets behind each seat right here you do have the fender logo and a speaker right there in the door as well and that premium stitching also continues into the second set of the second row doors as well lots of storage for bottles and cups and things of that nature there's another speaker down there uh, there is a sunshade in that window there as well as this one here. Let's see if I can do this There's your sunshade up right there So that it protects you a little bit from sunlight and then you also have that power sunshade for the giant panoramic sunroof right here Now before we go to the back here. I want to show you something neat about these seats here There's two handles a handle right here and a handle right here to access the third row without going around the front of the seat here You just lift up on this handle here. The seat will pitch forward just like that the bottom drops out you can keep a car seat attached if it's a front facing car seat you don't have to remove it to get access to the third row those headrests back there you just kind of flick them up with your hand and adjust them accordingly they're manual adjust they will uh, adjust to the uh, head whichever uh, head or back um, some people want those in their back not sure why but they do um, and then you have a sculpted roof line up here so you can get a tall person back here a person of 6'2", six, 6'3", six, maybe even 6'4", back there in the back and they're not going to complain about it. Even wearing a ball cap, they're still sculpted out right there and there's a reading light and what have you there. The key is the seat sits high off the floor. Your knees are going to be are not going to be up in your chest. Uh, they're more perpendicular to the ground. And to move this seat back, I'm just going to lift up on this handle and push it back. And there's also a bar underneath right here. Just lift up and slide that seat back. If you go with the bench option here, there's three car seat hookups here instead of two. They are here in here and then also over there in that seat as well but with the bench you're going to have three row three sets of car seat hookups right here so you can get three car seats in the middle row and the seat does still pitch forward just like this captain's chair did uh i've got a number of videos with those in there too so um you should be able to check those out it's a 60 40 split with the bench there's a look at those wheels right there and as you hear that plane fly overhead uh i, rem I remind you you can fly in and drive out so let's take a look at the back hatch. Here's a look at that back, and there's a plane coming in for a landing right there. All right, so as you look at this guy right here, this is the six-seater setup. There's your giant sunroof. It looked through from the center console back. Six-seater setup, black carpet on the back of the seats to protect them. These seats are still reinforced. Those seats are still reinforced as well. So in the event of an accident, Nothing's going to go through the back of the seat and pierce into someone's back. 
super nice that this sets up sets up like that steel reinforced backing on the seats that's a safety thing cargo blocks monster mats as well and this one has that cargo cover as well down below a privacy cover so as i lift this up if i can do this with one hand here there's a look at your privacy cover and also the quick release subwoofer underneath there and the spare tires underneath that and all your jack apparatus is right there so contrary to popular belief there are spare tires in the atlas um, and then to pull these seats back up, you just do this right here. Just pull up on it and make sure it locks. No orange there. So these seats, again, are still reinforced. They're super safe. Uh, you have seat belt clips on the side there as another plane flies overhead. Seriously, guys, I'll pick you up from the airport. There's a um, uh, charging port right there, 12-volt charging port. And if we have to assist in, in paying for your plane ticket, we'll do that as well. Plane ch tickets are cheap right now. It's worth the trip to come see me. I guarantee it. This car comes with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. Four years, 50,000 miles, bumper-to-bumper. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're going to give you three years of free maintenance instead of the two that comes with it. It comes with two years of free maintenance that are available at any dealership in the country. And if you buy from me and you live in the St. Louis area, that third one is also free. Uh, it's only free at my dealership, though, so you'll have to come in and get that third one or make a trip. Also, if you buy from me, I'll give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in this car, give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.